Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a question that many developers encounter while working with Docker and Visual Studio. Our viewer is facing an issue after renaming a Docker container for their ASP.NET Core API project. They receive an error message stating that the container cannot be found when trying to run the project again. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. The first step to resolve the issue is to understand that renaming a Docker container does not update the references in Visual Studio. When you rename the container, Visual Studio still looks for the old name. To fix this, you need to update the Docker container name in your Visual Studio project settings. Open your project in Visual Studio and navigate to the Docker settings. In the Docker settings, locate the container name field and replace the old name with the new name you assign to your container. This ensures Visual Studio can find the correct container. After updating the container name, save your changes and try running your project again. This should resolve the error message you encountered. If you continue to experience issues, consider restarting Docker and Visual Studio to refresh the environment. This can help clear any cached references. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble finding your Docker container, make sure Docker is running before you start Visual Studio. I faced this issue because I opened my project before starting Docker. If Docker isn't running, start it, then close and reopen your solution. Visual Studio will take care of recreating the container as it opens the project. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble finding your Docker container, it might be due to stopping it manually. This can confuse Visual Studio. A quick fix is to add a single space in your Docker Compose IML file and save it. This will prompt Visual Studio to restart the container. Alternatively, restarting Visual Studio would also resolve the issue, but the whitespace trick is faster. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble finding your Docker container, here are two solutions that might help. First, close Visual Studio and delete the object folders in both the root solution and all related projects. Then reopen Visual Studio, remove the Docker Compose project, and add it back without overwriting your existing configuration.
For the second solution, when you first create your container, copy the creation command. If you encounter any errors later, you can run this command manually to resolve them. If anyone finds a consistent solution, please share it with the community. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble finding your Docker container, it might be due to using solution folders in Visual Studio 2017 versions earlier than 15.9. Upgrading to version 15.9 or later can resolve this issue. For more details, you can check the issue discussed in the Visual Studio developer community. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble finding your Docker container in Visual Studio 2019, there's a simple solution. First, make sure to download and install the bug fix for Visual Studio 2017 from the official site. Next, add Docker Compose support by following the link provided in the description. Right-click on your project in Solution Explorer, select Add, and then Docker Support. When prompted, confirm to create a new Docker file. This will update your project with the necessary Docker configurations. After that, right-click the new Docker file and select Build Image. This should build your image successfully. Finally, set the debugger to Docker instead of IS Express for a smoother development experience. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.